For this exercise, I made a paper crane and decorated it with some paint. I started by making the paper crane with a square piece of white paper, folded it into triangles from both directions, and then folded it into rectangles. I thought I would show me doing the whole lot, and um, hopefully that will make it easier to follow if you haven't done origami before. But there are some other YouTube videos if you need a bit more instruction. So here I am just finishing up. So these are the base creases which will help create the paper crane. And then I kind of pinch the sides to create a diamond shape. So I, I pinch it and then fold it inwards. I don't know if you can see that very well. And then it creates a diamond shape. And then I fold the top bit up into kind of a triangle. And then I, I it's a bit tricky to describe this bit, but if you can look closely, you can see that I kind of put my finger in to try and create a fold. So it's over the, I don't know if you can see me put my finger in so it can fold over. It's a bit tricky to get this bit. It's probably one of the trickier folds. And then I do the same on the other side. See if you can see it a bit more clearly this side. That was accidentally folded over. Ignore that bit. <laughs> see, kind of fold it inwards. And I just did the same on that side as well. It should feel, fold comfortably, but just to see how you go. Probably take a few goes at folding a crane if you haven't done it before. So there should be a side with like two little legs. And you just fold in to the center. And you do it on the other side as well. It's kind of a bit like a kite shape. And then I turn over and do the same again. And then I open up one of the sides and I fold up. And I think it's called a um, pocket fold. Kind of fold it up and then inwards on itself. And this makes the tail in the head. And then I fold down Decide, pick which one I want to be the tail and the head, and then I will fold down the head. That's a little pocket fold as well. And then I can open it out into a crane. So this one I'm going to do a bit of decorating to. I'm going to cut bits off it and change it a bit just to make it a little bit unusual and a bit different. So what I decided to do was to make the wing a bit more elaborate. So I just cut the back bit of the wing so it could fold out and be a bit bigger.
I'm going to just grab some scissors and cut a few slots into it. I guess it's trying to make a bit of a feather-like effect. And here you can see I did the other side as well. And then I decided just to cut a few slots into the neck just for a bit of decoration and to look a little bit different. And I did the same to the tail as well. So here it is. I've cut some little flaps on the wings. I've cut a little bit into the neck and the tail. And now it's ready to paint. So I just picked a couple of colors. I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do, I thought, patterns rather than images and um, I started with the tails and just put a little bit of red on them. I thought it might look a little bit more fiery and interesting. And then I added a bit of blue afterwards. And here it is. Still a bit damp at this stage, but that's my exciting little done-up origami bird.